Hello everyone, welcome to another video which is basically a follow-up on my previous tutorial video on how to load in replays in Le Mans Ultimate. This is my last video and there is a user on the Le Mans Ultimate official forum, uh, our Mac router, and he has made a small little web app which you can use to very easily load in the replays. You can sort them by name, by date. You can even search them. So today I'm gonna show you with his permission on how to get that running. First thing you need to do is go to his forum post and there's a download link there. Of course, I'm gonna put every link in the description of this video as well. You download the file. Then you extract it. I'm going to extract it to the desktop right now. Okay. Open up the folder and then you basically only need to start up LMU replay browser.exe. Double click that one, then you start the game. You can also start the game first before you uh, start the replay browser. So it doesn't really matter. Just what you prefer. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my web browser and then you have this address where you can load or see the overview of all your replays. You can sort them by date, date and time, by name, you can even search. So if I want to search for events only on Monza, then it filters them out. And to load in that particular replay, hit the blue button which says load in LMU. Click it, go back to your game. That might take a little while. And then it'll load in your replay. The nice thing of this app is that you can also set it up to use it from a different device from within your home network. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that next. Basically, if you have a tablet or a phone uh, which you want to use, uh, you can use that to access the web, uh, web app. And that way you don't have to alt tap out of the game every time. I'll quickly exit. And show you how to set that up. Okay, <coughs> let me close up, for that you need to close it again, then you need to add this, to the file, the easiest thing to do is to right click it, and uh, click uh, create shortcut, then you go and right click the shortcut, Click on properties and add that text behind this. Hit apply, okay. And then you restart by using that shortcut. It will ask access from the firewall. And then whenever you go to, uh, to the localhost, uh, 5000 web address, you replace localhost by the IP address of the PC that web app is running on, on your phone, for example. And then you get to see this on your phone and you're able to load in 
the replays from your phone. That's basically it. This makes it even easier compared to the method I uh, originally came up with. So massive thanks to uh, R. McRuder for making this. I believe he's also working on adding some more options. For instance, deleting the replays from that viewer, from the app. And probably some renaming as well, but uh, uh, once it gets updated, I'll mention that in the description of this video as well. Alright, that's it for now. Pretty short one again, but I hope this will make life even easier. And I hope you uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.